Our patient is a 28-year-old female, very conscious of her oral health and very high aesthetic demands from her smile. Actually, it is exactly this that brings her to us as she recently noticed some discoloration and slight mobility of 1-1. After radiographic examination, it was obvious that 1-1 suffered from external resorption that had consumed most of its root, thus the observed mobility. Both the local anatomy, but also the patient's wishes, are compatible with an immediate implant and immediate provisional crown. It looks like the crown is far from what we anticipated, or? But before we start blaming the digital workflow for failing us, let's check something simple. Is the abutment seated properly? Remember, the provisional crown should be like a glass of margarita. Thin at the base, concave higher in order to create enough space for the soft tissues and extend it wide for a couple of millimeters below the gingival margin in order to support the ideal emergence profile. We wanted a margarita, but in this case we got a cognac. The catalog abutment that was used here was simply too wide, too close to the implant shoulder. Then we have to augment two important triangles. The bone triangle which corresponds to the space between the socket wall and the implant, and the soft tissue triangle, which we need to allow space for the ingrowth of thick soft tissues. For the bone triangle, we will use xenograft. For the soft tissue triangle, we used to place a small connective tissue graft, but we can reach the same clinical outcome with a humble collagen sponge. Then, the final critical part is the last couple of millimeters to the gingival margin. Here, we want our temporary crown to resemble the exact emergence profile of the tooth. has walked out with a new tooth and hardly any signs that the surgery took place. Are all our concerns over? Certainly not. The coming few weeks will be very critical and much can go wrong. Six weeks after the surgery, the patient noticed mobility of the crown, a slight loosening of the provisional crown. At this stage, it can cause inflammation of the soft tissues and jeopardize the hard-earned aesthetics. Luckily, the patient is well aware and comes back immediately. Although the tissues were inflamed already, securing back the crown could resolve the problem without any permanent damage. A recent prospective study by Ivanovsky et al. followed up implants placed with this technique for an average of four years 
and documented highly predictable tissue stability. In addition, it showed that pink aesthetic scores remain very high, if not even slightly improve with time. Of course, one has to note that the pink aesthetics were already high when the teeth were in place. This technique aims to maintain aesthetics, not to recreate it. The digital workflow, although will not reduce the complexity, can help us increase efficiency and reduce chair side time. Digital or conventional, however, careful patient selection, detailed plan of every step and experience remain the essential keys to success. Thank you for your attention and your interest.